Hey everyone, I'm Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen for free using some excellent software called Streamlabs OBS. If you're a frequent viewer of my channel, I have used this pretty much on all my videos to record my videos. So let's go ahead and jump into the software right now. So I'm over on my computer right now. Go ahead and go to this URL, streamlabs.com, and this is completely free software. You can go ahead and live stream from the software also and record your desktop. So this is extremely powerful software, and I think you guys are going to like it overall. So in the top right corner, download Streamlabs OBS. Let's go ahead and select this option right now, and it's going to go ahead and download in the bottom left-hand corner and it's about 239 megabytes so it's not too large of a download size once the download is completed go ahead and select the up arrow and then go to open when done and follow the installation process when streamlabs obs is completed and installed you'll be greeted with this page when you go ahead and open it and you'll be able to sign in with your twitch youtube mixer or facebook account and these are only recommended or needed if you're going to be live streaming on this platform. Otherwise, you can just go to the skip option and bypass all this. However, I'm going to go ahead and live stream on my YouTube account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my YouTube. Okay, so I have successfully logged into my YouTube account. So when you first sign in, this is how it's going to look. There's not going to be anything under scenes or sources. And you're going to have to add everything in manually yourself. This is actually really easy to do. However, it may look complicated looking at the screen right now. So we have our first scene on the left hand side. Let's go to this plus icon and add a new scene. And I'm going to go ahead and just name this record desktop and then go to done. Now under sources, let's go to the plus icon and add a new source. And there's going to be plenty of options under sources. So to record our screen on our computer, we are going to need to go to display capture and select this option and then go to add source. And then it's gonna give you some options for your displays. If you have multiple displays, they all be listed under here. I only have two displays. Select the display you wanna go ahead and record from. So I'm gonna select display one, then go down to done. And your display is now listed under sources. Now, when I have multiple displays, I like to right click on this. And then I like to go to rename. And I'll put this display one, then let's go back to the plus icon and select this. Let's go ahead and go to audio input capture for our microphone. Then go to add source. And then I typically like to just name it the microphone that I'll be using. I'm going to go ahead and put blue Yeti in here. And then go to add source. Then I'm going to go ahead, go to devices and select my blue Yeti microphone. Go to done. So I have my microphone in there, I have my display. Then if you want to add like a camera, go to the plus icon again, go to video capture device, go to add source, and I'll just name it my Logitech camera. Go to add source. Now my camera will not display in here, however yours will. I'm using my camera on a different software right now, just standard OBS. So it will not be utilized by Streamlabs OBS when I'm recording. So I have my camera in here. I have my microphone and I have my display one. But before we can start recording, let's just go through some of the best settings on Streamlabs OBS. So everything works out well. So on the bottom left hand side of the screen, if you go to settings and then open up this window, let's go down to output. And we can skip streaming unless you're going to be streaming. Let's go over to record. Now, the first thing you will want to look at is the recording path. I set up a specific folder for all my Streamlabs captures. So you may want to do that. But if you have a specific place in mind, go to browse. And then choose that specific location manually. So here is my Streamlabs captures folder. I'll have everything go into here once I'm done recording. Then also the recording format, I have mine set to MP4. MP4 makes it much easier to edit these in video editors. The standard one will be FLV. I highly suggest moving it to MP4, just so you don't get any issues when you're trying to edit this in a video editor. Also, I really enjoyed the option NVNC. 
Now, when you use NVNC, it will use your graphics card to actually record or stream from. And I believe this is only for NVIDIA graphics cards. So if you do have this option, I highly suggest this. Software X264 will utilize your processor to record and stream from. So if you have a little bit outdated processor, it may be beneficial to actually use NVENC, which is my case. If I stream off of Software X264, my computer will have terrible frame rates. And then I use CBR as my rate control. And I have my bitrate set to 7500 for recording and only 5000 for streaming. Now let's go down to audio. Then under microphone device one, I just have my Blue Yeti microphone listed in here. So if I plug in like a new device or something, it's not going to switch over to that microphone like on my headset. It will always be through my Blue Yeti microphone. And then if you want to do the same thing with your desktop audio, you can do that here and just select like your speakers via HD audio or a specific headset that you always like to listen to the audio through. Now let's go down to the video section and then you'll have your base canvas resolution and I suggest just putting this to your displays resolution. Mine is 1920 by 1080. And then for your output scale resolution, you can put this to uh, any kind of scale resolution you want. I have it set to 1280 by 720 which is what I'll be streaming off of, 720p. And then for my downscale filter, then I either have it to bicubic, otherwise this Lanslow's, which will sharpen the scaling to 32 samples. And then I like to record 60 frames per second, so I usually leave it at 60, otherwise 30. Do not go in between to 48 or 59. And then go down to done once you're all finished. Okay, so over on the right, you can see my microphone, my Blue Yeti, it's going up and down. You'll actually want to have your microphone just in that yellow portion. So go ahead and try to adjust it so it's just barely touching that yellow section, which means the audio will be good. For the desktop audio will be any PC audio. So you'll need to have some kind of sound in the background to adjust this properly. But typically you'll want this lower than your microphone level. Otherwise it's going to be way too loud in the background when you're recording videos or streaming. So go ahead and listen to your recordings just to see how loud you actually want your desktop audio. So you have everything set up. How do you record now? There is actually a little record button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you go in and press this, it's going to light up red. And you'll see a timer down here displaying how long you have been recording. Once you're done recording, just go ahead and press this button once again. And it's going to go ahead and save the recording. Now go ahead and open up File Explorer and find your recording path. Mine is under the G drive, Streamlabs Captures. And here is my recording I just recorded right now. If you have any questions about Streamlabs OBS, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. So if this video did indeed help you out record your computer screen for free using Streamlabs OBS, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.